By now you have watched the um, tutorial on how to create an account and how to enter your book key. What I wanted to focus in on my personal video is to show you that you can actually purchase access to the e-textbook right on the Kia Books webpage. Okay, so if you go to the Kia, the books.kia.com webpage, the first step, like you saw in the original video, is to create an account. Okay, once you've created an account, um, then we're going to go ahead and click on this, and you want to enter um, the course code that I have provided to you, which is that MRDNN 946. Okay, and that is located on this instructional handout that I'm giving you on Blackboard. Um, you click go. And then you're going to want to log back in. It's going to prompt you to log back in. And it's going to ask you for either your book key or it will prompt you to buy the book key. Okay, so if you have um, purchased the book key from the Southwest Virginia Community College bookstore, you're going to have a code that you need to put in. It's not the course code, it's the book key. The book key is the one that you paid money for. If you are going to be purchasing it here at the web page with your credit card, you're going to click buy and you want to purchase this book for yourself. There's the course code that's for the class. When you click next, notice it's $165. If you are planning to take both Spanish 1 and Spanish 2 this summer, this is the book that you will be using for both of those classes. So it actually winds up being fairly economical for two semesters worth of a class. Okay, we're going to click next. When you do, it's going to prompt you, yep, that's my name, that's spelled correctly, I'm going to say submit. At this point, it's going to ask you for the billing information um, for the credit card that you're using. Okay, so if it's your own credit card, put your own information. If it's maybe your parents' credit card, you're going to need to put their um, billing information in it. And then this is the credit card number. Once you click Next, you will have access to the book. Okay, I'm going to go back a couple steps just to show you what it's going to look like after that. So you've got the open book, um, which is going to open up the textbook for you. And I can't do that yet. I'm going to go to the instructor workstation for a second. Class details is basically the time, the length of the class, etc. My results is where you are going to see what I have graded and you're going to hear if I've created any audio recordings to help you with pronunciation. It is of the utmost importance that you actually um, look at this so that or listen to it, especially in the beginning of the class so that if there's any problems with your pronunciation of Spanish or if you're having trouble with the grammar, I'm going to be giving you personalized feedback that is going to be extremely helpful to you if you look at it. So please take the time to look at the feedback that I provide, especially at the beginning. Um, any announcements? I probably will not be making announcements on Kia. I prefer to make the announcements all on Blackboard, just so we have one place for announcements and grades, and that is Blackboard. Okay. Um, when I go to my instructor workstation, um, this is where I'm going to be able to show you what the book looks like. Preview. And here you're going to see all the chapters in the book. Um, the first class we go through the first five chapters. And this looks exactly like the textbook that it's based on, but it's all online. Okay, so you can navigate either across the top here or down the, the little um, column here. Okay, so each one of these is a section of the book. Contextos is always the vocab. You can hear these dialogues by pressing play. These are little tutorial exercises. And then these are the actual homework assignments followed by a little quiz. Okay, the fotonovela, I'm not going to really... I don't think we're going to use that too much. And then the pronunciación, this is where we're learning how to pronounce Spanish. And then there's the um, different recordings that you're going to make that I'm going to respond to. Cultura is just about Spanish-speaking um, culture. Estructura, these are the big sections. This is the grammar that you're going to learn each chapter. Okay. Now, I'm not assigning every single exercise in the chapter. So one thing you're going to have to do is you can access the exercises just by clicking here, okay? And then you put your answers in and then you submit. It's very important that you read the instructions. This little toolbar here is how you add any letters that are accented. If you don't add an accent, it will count it wrong. So make sure that you spell things correctly. 
Um, one place that you can go to to see what um, you have to do is to the dashboard where you're going to look and see the calendar and when there are activities that are due you can click on them here or you can click on them from the book. Here is where you're going to see which activities are due. Okay. Um, I hope this has helped and welcome to the class.